Hello everyone, today I will demonstrate you how to install Sirius Web. So in order to do that, you have to install a couple of libraries and applications. This is the list of the application you have to install. So I will demonstrate this on a Windows machine. Uh, it's a Windows 11. And uh, the way I will install those uh, uh, libraries and, and applications is through Chocolaty, which is a package management system for Windows. So basically, you have this link, the uh, chocolaty.org slash install, this one. And mm -hmm. in order to install this app, uh, you have to have an administrative shell. So the way you can do that is you start typing power, then it is PowerShell, right mouse click and run as administrator. It will ask you for administration approval and then you will have this window showing that you are an administrator. What you need to do here is basically just copy this link, there is this button here, go here, right mouse click and you see everything is copied and you press enter. And well, uh, I already have Choco installed uh, so, but normally it will just install Chocolaty and that's it. So basically after that you will have a command. So I could just start with like a single command line, it's totally fine. And the way you can install with this command is Choco. As you can see, I already have it. And basically what you need to do here is to one by one install each and everything here. Okay, so this is for Chocolaty. So we will check whether we have all the commands. So the first thing is git, which is for our version control. So I enter git, as you can see, git I have and it is running. So the next one is gdk, so I enter java minus minus version. And it shows that I have the 17 version. This is what is needed. Also, I need to have for Node.js uh, npm. So I enter npm, and as you can see, I have npm as well. This will be used for our, uh, for the web. And I also have we have Maven. So the command is mvn. As you can see, it is running. Obviously, there is no goal here, so it cannot run. But we have it, so that's fine. And the last thing what you need to do is enter this command to install Turbo. So I can enter Turbo. Okay, something is displayed, so we can see that it is up and running. There is one another thing you need to install, it's Docker. So this is the link, you go to this Docker website and here download for Windows and to install it by kind of next, next and ok. When you start your machine, probably you have to restart your machine. And then you have to start Docker Desktop. And Docker desktop will start the engine. So like without Docker engine, uh, you will be not able to run Docker command. So it is now started. So we can check here in this window, uh, this one, to just enter Docker. And as you can see, it, it, is, it seems to run. Uh, um, I, if I enter Docker run hello world, then as you can see, it is running a Docker uh, container, it's just displaying some hello world message so that we can ensure that it is up and running. <clears throat> okay, so, so far so good, we have everything. Uh, the next thing what you need to do is to execute also again in a PowerShell admin, this command and also this git command. This is required because Windows by default doesn't support this long pass kind of thing so you have you then you have like a, a folder in a folder and in a in another folder and in another folder and if you go down like very deep then you will have this problem of there is a, a predefined length that uh, uh, windows allows by default and by checking out this serious web code you will run into issues so what you can do here is start uh, PowerShell as an administrator. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Uh, or I don't know whether I made a mistake. Yes, probably I did. So again, it has to be an administrator. You can 
just copy paste this and as you can see everything is fine everything is set and the same thing you have to do for git as well okay we can close this then you have to have a directory in which you will check out the code so i created in a d develop demo wherever you want really uh, and just execute this git clone command which will kind of download all the source code for Sirius web so it will take some time obviously and as you can see it's it's quite some code so i can i have to change to this directory and then i can list okay i have everything here what is needed okay so the next step you need to do is create token uh, uh, in github so why it is needed it is needed because during the build uh, the build system will try download uh, packages and those packages are by default not public therefore you need to have a github login uh, with a token so the first thing you have to do go to github and just create an account for you so far so good then the next step is to create a token the way you can do that you go to this person and the settings and you have to go down here developer settings and personal access token and then here token classics and you press generate new token and generate a new classic token here i have to provide the authentication information after entering the authentication information i get to this page so here you can generate a token so token will be basically just a string so i can give it a name like serious token provide an expiration date well 90 days is fine and then i have to go down here and find this read packages download packages from github so you just select this download this one and then you scroll down and press the generate token this will generate a token so i will copy this and later obviously i will remove that so you or the other funny hackers just cannot use it but for now for demonstration purposes i copy it so that's the one thing that we need to do so then we have to go to this demo and uh, the serious web and apply this token because this is basically our password so the first thing we have to do is use the set this is basically this was kind of all setting but this is not what we do so set user equals my username and set password equals this password i mean obviously your password not mine so i go here i enter this one i enter this one and also for npm we have to do the same so those two passwords will be for maven for the backend build and this one is required for uh, for uh, npm so one and yeah copy paste this here too. okay so as you can see i'm logged in everything seems fine so what you need we need to do is enter this config so that it will use bash and basically just enter npm ci which will i think download some packages take some time Okay, so as you can see, five more than 500 packages are did, and there are two vulnerabilities. We just don't care at this point. So the next thing is to make a build on my computer. It's roughly one and a half minutes. So obviously drink a cafe, which I'm doing right now. And yeah, 
just wait for it basically. So if you have a different terminal, so I'm using the, the Windows terminal, which you can um, install through this uh, Windows store or something, Microsoft store, they constantly keep it renaming. Um, you can just basically go here and search for terminal. And I think it's that the Windows terminal. Yeah. So from Microsoft, <laughs> and you can just install it and this is how it looks like so it's like ha it has like tabs and everything so i think it's it's pretty usable and yeah it also has like this color kind of thing which i think it's it's nice so we have to wait a little bit for the front end to be built so that means what it is what it does right now there is a plenty of like javascript or typescript code and html and css and whatever and it's basically building all those things together into a bundle a bunch of code and as you can see into this disk folder so it created like an, an index html so that's the starting point a bunch of fonts it's a style sheet and also like a huge almost like two and a half megabyte of JavaScript file compiled from all those TypeScripts and everything. So everything is fine, everything is successful, took like yeah one and a half minute. So the next thing what you need to do is execute this two command. So this one. Oh sorry, which I cannot do right now because the mkd is in the bash obviously so either yeah the easiest way to do it like the following way program files uh, git sorry bin and bash so i will start like a linux kind of command here and then i will create this directory and then i will copy everything okay so, so far so good, we are fine. What we did here is uh, we got, we created a folder into uh, into the backend and copied everything that we built here into this backend folder. And now we are building the backend and the backend will also contain all those uh, web pages as well into a single file. So that's the whole point. So I will select then this maven command this maven command will be at the backend download everything all the libraries so hopefully the setting is correct so like we don't get much uh, errors uh, we might get some warnings that's kind of expected and right now i but but that doesn't make any doesn't cause any problems I think they have some problem in their build uh, or settings. Still, I could manage to have like a full build. So this is this is great. Um, what is happening now? It is downloading, you know, uh, all the libraries and trying to make a build. And the way it is configured is that I'm skipping the tests. So tests are not needed. Don't forget that we executed those two commands and I also executed from bash. So if you are staying in bash and you see some errors, just check you are still in bash. And if you are, just press enter exit and then you will back to this single command. So far so good. <coughs> so this build will take up around, I think, two minutes again. It is on my local computer, so it might be faster or slower um, for you. So the end result, the expectation here is to have a single file, a jar file, which is basically a zip, containing every backend code uh, compiled and also containing the front end that we built previously using this npx turbo command so in a single in a single jar file which can be executed using java 
So that's the that's the goal. That's what we want to achieve. And it worked for me yesterday, so I kind of hope that it will work today as well. But uh, we will see. We will definitely see. So just to move forward, what will happen? So we will have this jar file at this location, and then we need to basically run Docker, and then, as you can see, run this Java file that we created. Obviously, either we use this full name, or we just rename this jar file to like CVUS web sample application jar. I think this is what I will do. And so when we run this one, and then we run this one, we'll be able to access uh, the project, the serious web project on localhost 8084. So basically, that's, that's the expectation. So yeah trying to download and as you can see it, it already has these errors this couldn't couldn't transfer data for this BPM and designer uh, but I had it before so and it didn't cause any issues yeah those those unauthorized errors here that's that but that's for just really for this BPM and stuff uh, BPM stands for this business process modeling notation. We don't really care. So as you can see, the whole thing is that everything is success, 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 success. Everything is successful. Build success. Okay. So this is something we can work with. This is this is fine. So what I can do is, or what I need to do is go to this folder. So CD this one, and as you can see here, we have this. This is this is this was the goal. It's a hundred and five megabytes of file. So what I will do, I will copy this jar file into Sirius Web Sample Application Jar. Yeah, um, and that's probably copy. I don't know. Yeah, okay, it's copy. And okay, let's just start again. Bash. Um, yeah, I have to add like codes, double codes. Okay, so that's probably double codes. Okay, so the reason I did that because I can just simply copy paste this and press enter. Okay, so far so good. And I can also copy paste this and press enter. And as you can see, Sirius Web is starting, starting all the all the functionalities, and yeah, sample application, custom loader. Okay, so I think it is started. So we go to this web page eighty eighty, and yeah, maybe Control F five is 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 nice to have. Okay, as you can see, we already have some stuff here. So. Yeah, I can move it around. So, congratulations. You have a serious web up and running. So, yeah, you can create a new processor. And in this, I don't know. I, I to be honest, never really use this. Uh, yeah, okay, I cannot also a fan. Okay, this is, this is funny. So, nevertheless, you have right now uh, running uh, Sirius Web latest version directly from the code on your local computer. Congratulations, you did it. <laughs> so thank you for your attention. And then I will make a second video about uh, how to install Syston as well, based on this uh, description. See you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.